I normally stick to game type top five, but I figured a lot of people like the Dragon Ball Z videos for the games. Why not do top five Dragon Ball Z moments? This will probably bring back a lot of memories for a lot of people because a lot of people grew up with Dragon Ball Z, at least around in my age. I grew up with Dragon Ball in Japanese with uh, English subtitles, and then I watched Dragon Ball Z as a kid. I've watched the whole series way before a lot of other people, so note that these moments are a little bit different to me or different from you, because Dragon Ball affected some of my moments. Anyway, let's get on to it. Top 5 Dragon Ball Z moments in the entire series. Number 5, Goku going Kaioken times 4. Up until this point of DBZ, I was enjoying it, but damn, was this not the coolest fucking shit when Goku screams out, <coughs> not that, screams out, Kaioken times four, and used the damn Kamehameha wave with it, I mean, we thought Goku was fucked, we knew he couldn't go past level three, uh, you know, King Kai said no, you can't do that, but he did. Number four, Gohan going Super Saiyan 2. I feel it slipping. And I won't watch this anymore. Come on. Who didn't love this scene? Goku is out for the count, Cell is just too strong for everyone else, and Gohan steps up to the place and unleashes a level 2 Super Saiyan! Big spiked hair, electricity everywhere, powerful aura, I mean, sign me the fuck up, it was probably one of the coolest moments ever and Gohan shine like a motherfucking boss. <laughs> Never forgive you for what you've done. Number three, Piccolo's death and Gohan's reaction. <laughs> Gohan's rage equals a lot of great moments in the series, for me anyway. Piccolo's death remains one of the only deaths in the series that actually hit me. Remember, I watched Dragon Ball before I watched Dragon Ball Z, and it was really hard to imagine watching Piccolo turn into this dad-like figure, and then to watch him actually protect Gohan from death, I mean, holy balls, and what a great scene, and then Gohan's reaction was just like the extra sweet, lovely topping on a cake, it was yummy yummy in the tummy, it was awesome. Please. Goodbye, my friend. Goku's Super Kamehameha wave in Cell's face. <laughs> Goku wouldn't dare emit the Kamehameha wave attack from there. He'll destroy the Earth if he dies. <laughs> ah, just relax, guys. Who didn't love Goku vs. Cell fight? I mean, if you didn't, well, fuck you. If you didn't, though, you have to admit that Goku readying a command Mea wave that could actually destroy Earth from that point of view, only to teleport in front of Cell's face and say, yo, what up, motherfucker, and shoot the command Mea wave in his face like a fucking boss. Amazing. <laughs> No! 
Number one, Goku going Super Saiyan. I won't let you get away with this! <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody expect something different? Let's be real here, son. Well, that was horrible. But really, this is easily one of like the finest moments in anime history. The music, the anger in the voice, the motherfucking glowing yellow hair. It's iconic for a reason. The moment, this moment, defined Dragon Ball Z's legendary status. Awesome moment, one of the best. Pinch your nipples, it was great. So those are my five top awesome moments of Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, no, not GT or Dragon Ball. So, list your fucking series right the now. List your top five for Dragon, Dragon, Pump to dra dra Dragon Ball Z. Okay, I'm just going crazy. South Park review coming.